part of town I haven't really spent much time in. We are going to meet an airplane that has some supplies that we're having flown in from some of the people that are helping us. Um, I haven't been to the airport so I don't know what it looks like, how bad it is. Or whatnot. There's a bunch of there's Mariana High School. They have emergency services there. Pancakes passed out as usual. No fun to get out of this truck. I think he'd much rather be in the shelter where he came from than in the back of my truck constantly. Uh, these are all emergency response teams, police. Uh, there's other tents. So, uh, there's the high school football field that's destroyed. The signs are down. The baseball scoreboards are down. A trailer's flipped on its side. Like, that's a train car, I'm sorry. So the wind was strong enough to flip a train car. You can imagine how bad it was here. Uh, so. I have a friend of mine from San Antonio, Serafin, is uh, at the airport already. He's going to be mad at me because I was supposed to bring him food and I didn't. So I have, um, I call Madison and her mom, they're locals here, they are totally kicking my butt because I, I keep filling their truck with supply, they keep giving it out fast and I get it to them, so, um, I can't think of them. That's a shitty situation, no pun intended. But, they are helping me immensely because they know the area, they know the people, and they can get stuff to people a lot faster than I can. Um, so I can't thank them enough. When this is all said and done, I'll just briefly describe a little bit about all of them. Continue straight, then turn left. The other thing I wanted to talk about is um, we got the generator going for the animal sanctuary. We just got to get them some chicken quarters now. I'm working on that. I know a lot of people have asked them, but I didn't want to buy them any at first because they don't have a freezer. So now that their freezer is up and running, um, they can do that. So she was very, very, very thankful. She actually has family in Texas, which is kind of ironic, but. In half a mile. Turn like left I said, she's extremely thankful drive. that we are doing what we're doing. It made her day and it's going to keep her shelter open, which is the number one goal. So she has a temporary generator. The other one is the Morgan family, the ones that they feed a mass of people every day. They fed us for multiple days when we were trying to clear their street to get to them. Amazing, amazing people. I don't know how that works food out of little tiny crock pots and makeshift things because they don't have power. Uh, but her generator finally took a dump, so Seraphin took mine and brought that over there to give them power temporarily because it, it's taken a long time to get being said, we're going to sacrifice. 
So yeah, that's about where we're at today. So we're gonna get these supplies. We're gonna get them more than likely passed out today. Second Chance Rescue and the other rescues he's working with, uh, they're doing the same thing the next county over and they're finding the same thing I've been finding for days. It's, there's nobody out here, there's no help. Um, so not only are they finding animals, but they're finding families and you know, they don't have anything. surfing and his he brought his truck and his trailer all the way from San Antonio Texas out of the kindness of his heart totally volunteered his time to help out he brought let me back up there's a broken plane no he took him out he has the biggest chainsaws I've ever seen in my life uh, there's one of them sticking out of the back of his truck Fortunately, I don't weigh enough to lift them, but it's a big help. So let me get out of the truck, see where this one is, and I'll be back. <laughs> 